Okay, we're going to show you real quick here how to uh, download and install GIMP. This is on a Windows machine. You'll find GIMP at GIMP, G -I -M -P, dot org. You'll find a download link on the home page. Click to download. The system will recognize you uh, on a Mac or PC, even Linux. And you can install from the download link for your appropriate system. We're going to say uh, yes and agree to everything. We're going to watch the uh, fascinating advertisement and we're going to save the executable file. It's downloading now. 20 megs coming our way. We're just about finished. GIMP is downloading. You'll find this is a very similar process to every other program you've ever installed. So there we go. We're going to go ahead and install that. It's an executable file. You might get a warning on your computer. Go ahead and let her rip. Just about there, we're going to have us a fantastic, powerful, professional graphics program. And we're going to launch the GIMP. Clear that window out. And we're on our way. GIMP is a large and powerful program. I recommend that you close other programs when working with GIMP or any other uh, software that edits or manipulates uh, video and graphics. Just about there and let's see what uh, GIMP brings us. There are going to be uh, three primary windows on the interface that uh, we're going to go through in depth in our training and tutorials. Uh, they're fairly uh, complex looking and each and every little item in these menus has a purpose. So we are going to uh, have our hands full. This is our image window. We have a toolbox with lots of different tools and choices we're going to learn all about. This uh, dialog box for layers and more tools for brushes and other items. So these are our primary windows we're going to keep open. These windows can be um, opened and closed easily and we're going to show you um, how to do that. So you've got GIMP installed. We're ready to go so hang on for the tutorials to begin. For those of you on a Mac we're going to show you that coming up.